guys welcome back to tts um uh, bad b here um so this video is about um what i know now what tools would i have bought when i first started and what ones i did not need doing what i do now um that's i don't know i think it uh, uh Obviously, it depends on the person and what they're doing. Um, me, I am kind of doing, I don't know, a bunch of, I don't know, a bunch of different stuff right now. Um, and, like, um, earlier this year, I replaced an engine, and not that long ago, I replaced a cracked flex plate, um, been re I've replaced transmission lines, you know, wheel bearings. I don't know. I'm doing electrical stuff too sometimes when I can. Um, but for tools, so when I first started, I definitely found out that I needed to have a longer ratchet. Um, the one that I had was pretty short, so it didn't give me enough leverage that I needed. So I immediately got another ratchet that was like... I don't know, I think it was like 12 or 13 inches long. And so, and then definitely a brake caliper uh, compressing tool. Uh, actually, uh, the two different kinds. The, the, the tool that um, for the turn-in calipers definitely would have gotten one of those um especially now there's a lot of vehicles that have those turn-in calipers on the rear including the four ford f-150s they're getting them too but and then the other kind where it's just like a ratchet that works really well too um <sighs> Let me see. I've been trying to think of this stuff. And, like, pretty much everything I've gotten, I don't really... Well, for, like, when I was at the Ford dealership, I mean, I am at the Ford dealership. When I was at the Dodge dealership, I did alignments. Uh, I was stuck on the alignment rack there for two years. So, there was a this tool for um it works on the jeeps and some of the jeeps and the 2500s and up uh it's like goes on your ratchet and it's shaped like a hook this to make it easier to um, adjust that toe and um that them, them work pretty friggin slick for alignment techs those are definitely something and i i have i think i got one of them but then i switched over to my new dealership and now i don't use it at all because i don't do alignments at all none which is okay with me <laughs> i had my fair share of alignments and they got really boring <laughs> doing them over and over and over same thing Rusty parts, got heated up, it got old, but now I'm doing a lot of different stuff. Um, axle sockets, that's definitely a thing that I wish I would have bought. <clears throat> um, I can't really think of anything that I regret buying. I mean, maybe that alignment tool, because now I'm not doing alignments, but I was at the time. But I don't, I don't know. I can't really think of anything that, you know, all the tools that I have, uh, I'm pretty happy to have. Even there's tools that, I have learned that there's tools that you just don't use every day. But when you do use it, it's a god dang blessing <laughs> that you have it um but i don't really i don't know 
I don't really regret buying any tools. Um, a torque wrench is definitely something that you need. Pretty much, I don't know, anybody, you know, just for uh, torquing wheels, you know, it doesn't have to be anything super fancy. Um, definitely a torque wrench. Definitely need an impact gun. Um, that's that guy. <laughs> um, let me think. I don't know. Extension. Definitely need extension. Extensions for three eighths and half inch. Quarter inch, yeah, but quarter inch stuff I don't use as much as three eighths or half inch. <clears throat> uh a die grinder i definitely needed a die grinder i had to borrow either someone else's or uh, there was like a dremel tool that i used but i definitely needed a die, die grinder for the brakes as where i'm at we have a lot of rust and i every time i do a brake job i always have to grind down the brake the brake bracket because they rust so much um, definitely a die grinder. Freaking air hammer. 100%. I did get that before I really started working in the garage, and I'm so glad that I had it. <laughs> it's not a tool that I use every day, but it is awesome to have. Awesome thing to have. Uh... I have found out, well, I'm, obviously, I'm a girl, and I'm pretty skinny. And I don't have the weight that some guys have. And so I need more leverage. And I, so I have like this really big, big pry bar. The biggest one that you can get from Snap-on, I believe, anyways. Um, I actually uh, use that a lot for like suspension stuff. Um to help me like uh for example control lower control arms uh it helps me push the lower control arm down so i can get it out from the knuckle um uh sometimes i use it on wheels too like taking wheels off that are stuck on um i had i borrowed a guys at the dodge dealership i used it quite a bit so um used it a lot so I ended up just getting my own because I borrowed it so much <laughs> and I really like it it's super handy when I need it uh, well I kind of well I don't know I think it's one of them tools that you don't use every day but there is one tool it's um, that I bought that I haven't I haven't even used yet but I bought it because I was in a situation where I couldn't get a CV shaft out. It was actually on my car at my house. Um, it's made for like, uh, you can use your air hammer with it. It's, um, I can't remember what the hell it's called. It's like Twisted Tornado or something. It's, it gives you different tools to help you get like a stuck CV shaft out. Uh, pro there's probably... Uh, and there's like, it looks pretty cool. I think it'd be really handy, but I haven't even used it yet. And I've had it for probably a year now. But I bought it because I got stuck in that situation at my house. So, and so I kind of been, I've debated back and forth if I should trade it back in and just put it towards my account or another tool that I need or I don't know but then again if I get rid of it then I'm probably gonna end up needing it right because that's usually how it goes so I don't know I sort of regret it but at the same time not really because I love tools and well they're super handy so, uh, I guess that's it. Um, uh, it's been, uh, it's been a while since I've been on TTS, but 
it's been uh, like, I don't know, it's been super crazy busy since spring and still now. <laughs> Especially now, trying to get caught up, but that's okay. Uh, I'm sure you'll see more of me and the others in the upcoming videos uh, once things calm down more. So, until next month, I will see you guys again. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out everyone else's videos too. Bye!